Loving Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. This person's watching you on social media, which is typical, you know, for somebody who hasn't said anything to you, right? So they could be watching, you know, Facebook, TikTok, whatever platform that you have here, okay? This person is kind of giving this energy of with this, I don't know why this happened, lack of accountability here. This person knows why this happened. They're avoiding accountability. Okay. What else? I have too much to lose. You see what I'm saying? This person is coming across as somebody here who doesn't know what, why you're not speaking to them or they're coming across as someone here who is like, I don't know why the collective isn't talking to me, why the collective doesn't want to be with me. I don't know what I did, um, but they do know what they did because it, to me, it seems like there's a situation going on here where this person doesn't want to stop dealing with somebody else or leave another connection so third party energy here because this person feels like they have too much to lose now for those of you who know for a fact there's no third party interference it doesn't have to be a person this could simply be third party interference somebody choosing their job or their career or, or their family over um, a connection okay because not everybody's ready for love that's okay um but let's just see here i don't know this person obviously chose something else over a connection but the thing is they're still lurking and watching you and they want to know what you have going on they want to know what you're doing so show me this person's energy and how they're currently feeling about my collective this person that's watching the collective how are they currently feeling about them mm -hmm. ten of wands in reverse good grief they don't want to let you go they don't want to let you go or they definitely there's a situation here that they don't want to end again the reason why they haven't released all of this baggage they feel like you let go and you rejected them and you walked away they haven't let go of another situation but they feel like they were rejected by you okay four of cups eight of cups this person's not able to to let you go hmm Show me more here. Somebody could be, oh, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Six of Pentacles energy. You're walking, I believe that you rejected this person and you're walking directly into something that's, you're getting what you deserve. What you feel like is an equal give and take. Some, some connection or love relationship that offers balance and stability and it's equal give and take. You put the time, effort, and energy to something that this person puts this time at the same time and effort and energy into something and they're really upset and bumped yep there goes that watching you energy the page of swords at the bottom of the day i feel like this person walked away from you to give to somebody else they were definitely given to more than one person and that's why they lacked giving you the ability to give you what you need here they ghosted you too they may have ghosted you the hermit energy somebody here could be a virgo this person could have gone back to an ex. Mm -hmm. Four of wands. Eight of the, okay, this person feels stuck and trapped. Somebody could have gone back to somebody else. Eight of swords and the four of wands just fell on top of the hermit energy. This is telling me somebody could have walked back. They're stuck in another situation that they can't let go of. So this person saying they have too much to lose. This could be about money. Um resources property time that they put into another relationship so this is for some of y'all this person has been there's somebody from this person's past they've been back and forth with for a long time show me more here how's this person currently feeling about my collective so they are stuck in your head i mean i'm telling you they're stuck in their head thinking about you here they can't stop watching you with this page of swords energy they cannot stop watching you here they're quiet they're not saying anything this person could be a pisces doesn't matter but hmm. some of y'all have moved on to another relationship and you posted this new relationship online and this person is watching that show me more here so why is this person watching the collective then now? If if they can't leave this other situation, why watch the collective? Why watch the collective? Let's see. 
they this person did leave to go somewhere else they whatever they left you for they thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side but they're finding out that they're they, the person that they chose the situation that they chose is not better than what you have going on or what they had with you okay and you know you decided not to wait i feel like this person thought you'd be there waiting for them to come back and go go off and do whatever it is they wanted to do ghost you so this is somebody who may have ghosted you more than one time they're there's a, a habit here this person is going through and I feel like this person is now realizing this toxic behavior or this toxic pattern you know like they're also seeing they have a toxic pattern in a relationship somewhere else which is with the person that they chose to be with here um, this person is choosing to stay in another situation out of fear or they don't want to lose something okay hence the ten of wands and reverse energy Holding on to something that they're not happy with, that's a burden, but afraid, like, show me more here. Hmm. So, show me more about what this person, yeah, this person misses you, their heart, they're really emotional over you too, you guys. They know, yeah, see, this person is used to toxic relationships and toxic connections or they, the person that they've been with for quite a while, that's just what they're used to. They're not used to anything better or used to anything else. And this person really feels like they don't deserve you, okay? Um, because that's what they're comfortable with, which is so sad because people get stuck in these toxic karmic cycles and because that's all that they know. Um, this person really wants you to trust them, but I don't see you trusting them at all here. That Yeah, I don't know why I let you go, energy. I don't know why I let you go. You see what I'm saying? They know why they let you go. They're playing crazy. I really feel like this person is playing crazy here with you. All right. So will there be any action? All right. Will, will this person take any action towards the collective in the near future? Um, five of Wands. I feel like not right now because they're going through a lot of drama. A lot of conflict, whether this is them thinking, overthinking, being in their head, got in a conflict, can't make a decision, don't know what they want to do or not. To me, it's like they could have drama going on in their life. And I, we already know this person knows that, yeah, this person refuses to heal here. Four of swords in reverse. They're refusing to do the, the self-work. They know they have a toxic pattern or cycle happening here. And that's what is preventing them from having a healthy relationship. So you deserve better than this person. Okay, you do. So let's see who some of y'all could be dealing with a king of pentacles here, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. This person really wants to talk to you or take some form of action, but you've closed out a cycle with this person. You're no longer speaking to them with this world card here. And the high priestess queen of cups is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you guys are being real strong right now. Are you suffering from the loss? Yes, you are. Like you, you miss them, right? You, you, you do, but you don't miss the toxicity of the situation, right? You don't miss the back and forth. You don't miss the karmic cycle here. You're being very, very strong. You're standing on your ground. Um, you're heartbroken and you feel betrayed by this person. This person lied to you a lot. Um, yeah, this is just somebody who really needs to get their life together. Show me this five of wands energy here. What's this drama going on in this person's life? What's this drama going on? Just clarify this five of wands. All right, let's see. We got a couple cards coming out. First of all, this person is experienced. Th this person has money, is having money problems. This is somebody here who loves to hang out, travel, um, spend money, uh, gamble. Somebody here could even have a gambling problem. I feel like somebody is an overspender. This is somebody here who takes risks. They may even have like a nightlife. They love to hang out in the streets and drink here with, and, you know, maybe travel and go to casinos for some of y'all. There's something about somebody being an overspender. I feel like this person has some habits that requires them to work overtime or requires for them to work so much to the point point where they have to they have these habits whether it's traveling or gambling or drinking and hanging out this person constantly has to work 
to look a certain way and live a certain lifestyle here. But I feel like that's creating drama in this person's life. This person is also having some uh, family drama and some family issues here because we're clarifying the five of wands. OK, so somebody here may have some children, may even be married or be with a baby's mother or a baby father here. <laughs> This person, oh man, here's the deal here. The five of wands with this uninterested energy is telling me somebody in this connection is not paying them attention. Either this person who they're with is not paying them any attention right now, or they're not paying the person that they're current that they chose over you, they're not paying them any attention. Hmm. Somebody here is doing a lot of digging and dirt looking, okay? That's what this Page of Wands, um, Page of Swords energy is also too, is somebody looking up information. So not only do you have an energy here, somebody trying to, watching you on social media, somebody here is like looking up either this person's third party is digging for dirt on you or for dirt on your person. Somebody here is doing a lot of research. They're doing a lot of research. Show me more about this five of wands energy. What's this drama in this person's life right now? What's the drama in this person's life right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. We have your choice. Nightmare. So this person is living out uh, the, the choice that they made collective was a nightmare. They're experiencing this five of wands, this drama, this energy. Yeah, look at this fate. This is this is um, tower energy with the fate, the detour, divine intervention. So this could also be this person is experiencing a tower moment because of how they did you and the choice that they made. They thought it was better and they're learning that it wasn't. It's a complete nightmare. Show me more about this drama and this third party situation. This person is, yeah, man, whoever this person is dealing with, they got a lot of drama going on here. A lot of drama. Let me see. Oh boy, competition. And there we go. There's somebody here who wanted to be, yeah, I told you this person, hold on. I know I feel, okay. I know I'm getting off, um, off topic, but remember I said earlier, somebody's living beyond their means or they're working a lot. This pretending energy, this fake and living beyond their means, whoever this person is with, it's like money and the way something looks, it's like, it, it's somebody here also too is when at all costs energy, like somebody did everything they could to keep another person or to, to keep another person with them. Hmm. Show me more here about the, about this um, competition energy. What's this competition energy? Whoever this whoever this person was that put you in competition. Well, I don't even feel like you were in competition to be quite frank. But the person who is the competition that you're is your third party to your person. This person's a liar. This person's definitely living beyond their means. Okay, something's being exposed about this person. This person settled for convenience and it may just be the convenience that they settled for it has something to do with money or a lifestyle. Somebody may have even, somebody here is not being honest about their finances or their current resources, okay? Somebody here is going to be coming towards you to ask for your forgiveness, but I don't see you doing that here. Uh, what was that just fell in my lap? fulfilling a fantasy you see what i'm saying all of this was just a fantasy here there's no truth behind it this is giving me like ace of swords this truth and expression energy is giving me ace of swords in reverse somebody here is living a lie it's a fantasy this is make-believe stuff yeah betrayal on the bottom of the deck deceit backstab traitor not to be trusted somebody is realizing somebody else is not to be trusted you know so what's going on with this person who is experiencing this drama? Show me more. Hidden plans. They're choosing not to reveal everything to you right now. Proceed with caution. Don't ignore the red flag. So when this person does come back towards you and say, oh, I want to reconcile. Please forgive me um, for being in my ego. You know, um, this could be something that's happened over the past year to two years for some of you guys. Um, 
you there this person's going to be keeping secrets from you okay so just keep that in mind mm. what's this awakening energy thank you divine love so i feel like you guys have moved on i feel like you guys have moved on awakening they are healing and moving in the right direction getting close to union this is you this is you you signed up to do the journey together before you were, were born and nothing will go wrong somebody here could be a leo i'm gonna say this because i feel like with this awakening and divine love energy here it's like you're moving further away from this person and they can feel you moving away from them and healing. And this person knows they need to heal and do the work because the energy that came out was the force or it's a reverse. This person is not awakening. They're not healing. They're refusing to do the work here. Or this person is like, you know, stressed and overwhelmed with finances and financial burdens and other issues too, which is another reason why they're working so much. And I just feel like this person's focused so much on money and the material of things or they're focused so much on their security but it's all like for what you're still living beyond your means like your pockets still aren't um yeah let me get some clarifications here let's see what is this awakening energy what is this awakening energy please it is possible um, let me just see first. I don't think I'm wrong, but what's this awakening energy? The Ten of Swords. Somebody was betrayed. Whoever was in that betrayal, deceit. It, the only reason why somebody's awakening here to a situation or a third party that they chose over you is because they were backstabbed. Mm. <sighs> Child. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh oh. So what happened? Um, show me more about this Ten of Swords and this betrayal. Show me more about this Ten of Swords and this betrayal. King of Wands. Somebody could have been dealing with a Cancer. King of Wands or an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. There's a masculine here realizing that they have to put something to a halt with this other person that backstabbed them and they're going to have to move away from them. But they still feel stuck with this person. They still feel stuck to this person. Um, they thought this was going to work out, but they're finding out real quick that it's not. Show me this chariot in reverse. Show me this chariot in reverse. The seven of wands. Yeah, something is blocked here. Show me this chair in reverse. Yeah. I told you he's giving me Ace of Swords in reverse energy. I told y'all some somebody here. Listen, you look at all this energy. We have the three of cups in reverse. There's gossip. There's somebody's like foul gossip. Somebody's talking reckless, saying a whole bunch of stuff. Like somebody does anything for clout here with this Knight of Swords energy in reverse. There could have been an argument of some sort here. Page of Swords in reverse. This is like, again, the Page of Swords is out here upright. And then we have the Lovers in reverse. Somebody made a wrong choice. And now there's a whole conversation that gossip behind some betrayal. Somebody, it, 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 ooh. Something is not, this person is stuck in a karmic cycle. The Eight of Cups is out here. It's giving somebody's walking away. But it's still not over. Eight of Cups, the world in reverse. Oof, child. I don't know what to call this. Um... Oh, and I just looked down. The top of the deck says karmic cycle. The They must complete their karmic contract to clear negative energy. So now really is not the time for this person. Does this person want to say anything else to the collective? Because they still got some karma they need to clear. They still got a lot of drama, by the way. I daydream about a life with you and I'm seeing life differently now. Yeah, the reason why this person is thinking about you and daydreaming about you and seeing things differently is because they were the one who was backstabbed. Whatever they did to you, they're getting this back, you know, so... 
they do still feel like they have a chance with you. I just want you to know that. Any more messages from this person? What does this person want to say to the collective? All right. You will always have a place in my heart. Good. I suck at goodbyes, but this is only a goodbye for now. Oh, see, I told you this person literally legit thinks that you like they, they're going to have another chance with you. I'm not ready to settle down. And they, they're not ready to settle down because they're too tied up into this dra dramatic situation with somebody else and other people <laughs> and other people. So that's going to be your reading, you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all later. Bye.